It's the beginning of the month, so you know what that means. It's time to go over all the Air Jordan releases set to drop in July. We're going to be talking about release dates, price points, resale value, how hard the shoes are going to be able to get, styles, cuts, materials, you know how it goes, all them fancy things. And if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ, and this is the DNA show hey. on this channel I love talking about sneakers giving you guys in-depth reviews and showing you guys all the tips and tricks along the way so if you haven't already consider subscribing and joining the fam we're on the road to a million subscribers and you could be the next one to get us there now let's take it to the first shoe because we got a lot to go over this month starting on July 1st we have the Air Jordan 1 low retro pink sickle honestly this shoe right here is not really for me but I could definitely see why people may think this is a good summertime shoe and want to add this to their rotation also on July 1st we have the Air Jordan 1 one low retro reverse black toe we have seen a couple different iterations when it comes to the retro one low and these type of color blocking patterns and i'm sure a lot of people are going to really like having this shoe and with this being another bulls colorway i could definitely understand why there may be a demand behind the shoe now do i think this shoe is going to resell for a lot of money no but i do think there is a potential chance for to see this shoe maybe sell out in time and then eventually be worth a little bit more than what that retail value was so if this sneaker in particular is something that you like i would definitely recommend trying to grab it for retail while you can because eventually I could see these going up in value and last but not least for July 1st we have the Air Jordan 5 WNBA now this colorway looks like something we have seen before in the past but I know there's definitely gonna be an audience of people that do like this shoe and are anticipating this release I'm not sure if they're even releasing these in men's sizes so for me I don't even have to really worry about going for the shoe but at the same time I feel like it's a solid shoe and I can see why people like it again it's very similar to other colorways that we have seen in the past so I can see why people want to pass on the shoe as well let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section now before we take it to the next sneaker i wanted to mention we just introduced the annual membership to the dna fam and there are going to be some cool giveaways at the end of this month and some big announcements so if you guys want to be a part of the dna fam make sure you hit the link down below in the description i'll make sure i pin it for you guys in the comment section as well but that'll be the link to the annual membership for the dna fam that'll get you in at the best price and at the best deal and trust me when i tell you we have some cool stuff coming next month i'll be announcing that in a couple weeks you guys are going to be very excited there's definitely going to be some big budgets and some happy campers to say the least so again if you're ever interested in joining the dna fam i'll make sure i have the link for you guys down below in the description or pinned in the comment section we have the full hobby to hustle program live chats everything there's a lot of stuff going on in there you guys will love it i'll see you guys on the inside so with all that being said let's take it to the next shoe we have the air jordan one high og stage haze i've talked about this sneaker before i think this is a very simple and clean colorway i can understand why a lot of people want to grab these they may say they're sleeping on them or whatever it may be but at the end of the day once people get these shoes in hand and rock them on feet they're gonna be like yo I low-key wish I would have had two pairs because I feel like I want to rock this shoe too often and I need another pair sitting on ice for later when I pull up you know I just feel like it's gonna be one of those type of situations on this type of sneaker so for these in particular they might not have a crazy resale value but they will be hitting for a little bit of something a little bit over retail at least so I would say if you want to get this shoe definitely try to go after it for retail and if you can't get the shoe you won't have to spend too much over but at the same time obviously we all love to hit for retail so i'm wishing you guys good luck on this one that for the people that do want the shoe also on july 2nd we have the air jordan one low bleached coral and honestly this shoe right here is extremely dope in my opinion i saw these a while ago and i was like i definitely need to get these for my collection i think it's a nice addition for the low top collection especially with it being an og cut and i definitely think the colorway is going to be a cool switch up to add to the rotation especially with us having so many different red black and white sneakers i'm excited to add these to the rotation let me know how you guys feel about these down below in the comment section i feel like it shouldn't be too hard to get the shoe but at the same time you definitely need to put a little bit of effort in for it because i don't think they're just going to be sitting on shelves like that next up on july 5th we have the air jordan one low retro crimson bliss now this shoe right here is another one that's not really for me i definitely like i said before i like og cuts more than i like the retro cuts but again that's a preference thing for a lot of different people and at the end of the day i'm gonna spend my money on the sneakers that i want to spend my money on and this shoe right here i just really don't want to spend no money on these and i'm not saying anything is wrong with the shoe because the color blocking isn't that bad i think it's just the colors for me not really hitting and other people may say well the pink one i know but it's just a little bit different on the shade and the color blocking and the cut of the shoe so i think there's other factors as to why i like the other one compared to this one but again it's all preference and you can buy whatever you want to buy and that comes to the next shoe the air jordan one low biohack fly ease so we have seen this colorway before on a high top version that released a couple years ago and now we're getting it in a low top version and i'm excited to see this shoe in person i know this shoe isn't actually meant to be 
for me simply because of the functionality and who the actual customer is supposed to be for this shoe. So for that reason, it makes me, I, I do want to get the shoe, but at the same time, I feel like I should give it to somebody else if I were to get the shoe. So that's kind of my dilemma on this sneaker. So I feel like at the end of the day, I yes, want to get the shoe, but I'm not going to purchase it. I would love to get it and kind of show you guys what it looks like. And then after that, give it back to whoever has it or the owner is or give it to somebody who actually needs the shoe. We could definitely make a whole nother video on that topic when it comes to different sneakers that are like this specifically made for people that need these type of sneakers. So that's just something cool to see that Jordan brand is introducing more fly ease options and different things like that into the sneaker community throughout the year. Now, I know there's not a bunch of different fly ease options, but we do have some that are slowly getting sprinkled in over the years. So that's cool to see that. And I'm excited to see how it is for the people that actually need this type of sneaker. Following that release, the next day we have the Air Jordan 1 Mid Alternate Bread Toe. This is going to be one of those sneakers that you're going to see people trying to drive hype behind. And honestly, I just don't like how the mids are created. I like Jordan 1 Mids, but the new models... I don't like the functionality of the shoe. The way they make the tongues extra long and the materials that they use are very bad on the shoes. So for those reasons, it causes me not to want to add that shoe to my collection. And I have to be very, very particular about the mids that I do add when it comes to the newer mids because the older mids, oh yeah, when we're talking about Father's Day, military pack, Olympic one mids, you name it, I can go on. Trust me, old love, new love. There was a bunch of great mids back in the day. And I love those type of mids, don't get me wrong. We definitely still need to make a comparison video. I haven't got a chance to doing that. I'm gonna show you guys the difference between new mids and old mids because old mids are way better than new mids. But anyway, sorry about the tangent about mids. Let's take it to the next shoe. <laughs> I just looked, it says the Air Jordan 1 mid light smoke gray. So we're gonna keep talking about mids. As you can see right here, we have the Air Jordan 1 mid and uh, this shoe is a solid color blocking pattern. I get it. I understand why this is gonna be very uh, neutral for a lot of people to wear with a bunch of different outfits, more affordable, more accessible, different things like that. So. I can understand why people want to add these to the collection. Again, not for me, but I do like the sneaker and I'm interested to see what you guys think about these down below in the comment section. Now, next up, we have a sneaker that is pushing the Air Jordan 2 agenda. And I'm very, very interested to see what these look like in person simply because this is something different. Um, I'm not sure if we have seen something fully like this before. We've seen the new Retro 2, we've seen the Jordan 2, but when it comes to the Nina Air Jordan 2, these have a different style to them, a different twist to them. And it's almost like a more simple version, if you wanna say the least, uh, when it comes to the details of the sneaker. So. I'm interested to see what people think about this shoe uh, in the comment section. And I am on the fence about this shoe. I want to see it in person. I want to see how the materials turn out. I have, for some reason, I feel like they're going to do a really good job when it comes to materials, just because they've done such a different twist on the actual kind of mold of the sneaker. But we do know it's an Air Jordan 2 still. So I'm definitely interested to see these. You have the high tops and the low tops. You got the red and the green. And I don't know. I'm just interested about these. That's all I can say. All I can do is make my judgment once I get the shoe in hand and in person. Following that release, we have the Air Jordan 1 Zoom Comfort Hot Curry. I'm not exactly sure how they came up with this colorway name or who decided to call these the Hot Curries, but at the end of the day, this is definitely not a cop for me. Um, again, you guys know how I feel about the oranges and everything, so I got, I'm very, very selective when it comes to orange sneakers, and yes, I don't like the shattered backboards or any of the shoes from that collection. I've had multiple pairs of shattered backboards, ones, twos, and threes. I've had all the different versions, and I just, I don't like them. I end up selling them every time, so when it comes to the orange sneakers, I'm very selective in this one in particular. Just not cutting it for you, boy. Next up is a sneaker that I think I would have probably really went after if I was younger in the shoe game and just getting started and I think is a more affordable shoe or something like that. But because I've amassed so many sneakers at this point, again, I have to be more selective. We have the Air Jordan 1 KO, AJKO, whatever you want to call it. And this shoe right here is honestly really clean. I feel like it's going to be affordable. I feel like it's going to be obtainable and I like this shoe a lot. I think it's going to be uh, very neutral again to be able to wear with a lot of different outfits and somebody's going to really enjoy having this sneaker in their collection. So this is going to be something that I might go after for a retail cop or I think it might be able to get it underneath retail and if I can find the shoe for a good deal or maybe grab a used pair for an extremely low or something like that, I might consider adding these to the collection, adding them to the rotation. But besides that, I think overall, 
as of right now and where I stand in life and the things I'm trying to do and where I'm trying to go, I think it would be smarter for me not to purchase a sneaker if I were to go for it at retail and stuff like that. So I don't know. That's how I feel about it. At the end of the day, I like the sneaker, but I got to make a smart decision and not purchase the sneaker because there are just so many freaking shoes coming out. We're going over like 15, 17 different shoes just for this month. And every single month, there's just all these shoes coming out and they just want us to spend all this money on all these shoes. So got to be selective, got to be smart, got to pick our battles. And this one right here, I choose not to pick the battle on, but that's okay. I still like the shoe. I still respect it. Let's take it to the next shoe because we know everybody knows the next shoe, everybody's going to be hyping up. Everybody's going to be going after, even if they don't like it, they're going to try to grab it to resell it. And that is the Air Jordan 1 Low Travis Scott Reverse Mocha. At the end of the day, if you like this sneaker or not, there is going to be demand behind it. There is going to be a crazy resale and the retail drop is going to be hard to get at retail. I think there's going to be a very interesting drop. We're gonna see the drop on the Travis site. We might see the drop on Nike sneakers app and different boutiques and different stores But it's gonna be an interesting drop per usual when it comes to these limited releases like this Especially something that's super hyped up and has a high demand So at the end of the day, all I can do is cross my fingers wish you guys luck um, I don't even know how I'm getting my pair yet But eventually I'm sure I'll get a pair because I just typically always get shoes like this so these shoes right here I do plan on adding to the collection. I will give you guys a review in due time. It will come. I'm going to try to get my hands on them as soon as possible for you guys and make sure I get you guys a good review out so you guys can see the in-depths between the first version, the first brown version, uh, the fragment version, and this version and kind of see the different versions and what you guys like about the different aspects of the shoes and stuff. So I'm excited to see what you guys think about the launch, how it's going to go, if you actually do like the shoe. And let me get, let me get that clear too. The black version, the black and brown version, that's my favorite one. This version and the fragment version, that's a toss up right now. But I think these might be third on the list, but I gotta see them in person to really make my full judgment on how I feel about these. Uh, I do like them, but just as of you know, seeing images, I'd say maybe like a seven out of 10, eight out of 10. Um, that's kind of how I feel about them now. But again, Thoughts and opinions may change once I see the shoe in hand and in person. So we shall see when the time comes. All right, you guys, we got two more sneakers left on the list. I hope you guys are still here watching and enjoying. I'm excited to always talk about sneakers with you guys and give you updates at the beginning of every single month. So with that being said, let's take it to the next shoe. And that is the Air Jordan 1. What is the next shoe? Hold on. Oh, yeah, there it is. And that is the Air Jordan 1 High OG Chenille. So this colorway in particular is something that is similar to what we have seen before when it comes to the color blocking. But they have given it a little bit of a twist and then it looks like we have a chenille patch on the swoosh and different things like that a couple different elements so i'm not exactly sure how i feel about these i want to see them in person and in hand i think i would love to be able to purchase them for retail and then make my decision if i want to keep the shoe or not um i'm not sure if these are going to have a crazy resale value or something like that we know the shoe game is kind of rough right now times are uh, some people say it's great. Some people say it's bad. I personally think it's great because now you can get shoes at more affordable prices. So in my opinion, I think it's great. But for resellers, they're going to be like, oh, no, nah, bro, the market's down. I'm losing money. Everything's tanking. I'm struggling. So I get both sides of the spectrum. But I think when it comes to the consumer aspect and actually wanting to purchase the shoes and get them for your collection and wear the sneakers, I think it's a better time now to be able to try to get shoes like this. And also, we all know this stuff happens pretty often. We, I mean, I've been in the game for 15 years now. I've seen it happen. Shoes like this, they'll come out, they'll be sitting, they're breaking, what everybody wants to call them, right? That's the new word for it. And then next thing you know, a couple years later, all the shoes that are coming out now, just like the stock market, right? Everybody gets scared, the prices go down, the real people actually start buying into it. Next thing you know, the prices go back up some years later, and then they're like, oh, I bought the dip, and then everybody makes the money. So I don't know, it's just, it's all interesting how it goes. Again, we can make a whole video about the sneaker game and the shoe market and the resale and, and resellers and buyers and all that we could talk about that too I, i'm excited to talk about that because yeah there's we, we need to go over a lot so sorry about these tangents i'm just having fun again we're just on here rambling talking kicks now let's take it to the last and final sneaker and that is the air jordan 8 what is the colorway oh, bro i keep missing oh yeah there we go the taxi air jordan 8 i talked about this sneaker before i feel like it was supposed to come out last month maybe it got pushed back i don't know what's going on but either way this sneaker right here is like a dope PE that came to life. Like if you would have put an Oregon duck patch on this or something like that, 
Next thing you know, this is a five or four or three or whatever thousand dollar sneaker, but I feel like this shoe is gonna sit. It's not gonna sell out. People are gonna be able to easily get the shoe. The people that like the shoe are gonna be able to get it. I heard this was a women's drop. I can't see over here online on the website or not if it is or not. But either way, uh, if I can add these to my collection in my size, I might consider adding these. And maybe, I'm not really a custom type of guy, but maybe see if I could find somebody to like take the patch off and put like an Oregon duck like patch on the tongue and show people like, wow, look at the shoe looks like it could be a PE and this is what it could be. I don't know. It'd be a cool video, something interesting just to talk about that topic of like how some PEs don't come to life and then they go GRs and then they don't sell out and people don't care. And then, yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, you guys. We're just rambling at this point. So with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I appreciate you as always every month if you want to see new updates and then obviously throughout the month we're going to have videos dropping as well but if you want to see new updates at the beginning of every single month on the jordan releases make sure you guys subscribe and i'll see you guys at the beginning of next month when it comes to a video like this and then there's going to be a lot of cool stuff in between when it comes to content i'll see you guys in another one all right y'all i'm out <laughs> Yo, if you enjoyed this video and want to grow your collection or make extra money on the side, I built a VIP mastermind that will teach you everything that I've learned about growing my sneaker collection over the past 15 years. This will also give you access to the DNA fam in my VIP community where we talk about investing outside of sneakers. And don't worry. If you don't plan on joining the VIP community, it's okay. I also set up a private DNA fam community that gives you access to all the behind the scenes looks from the studio and multiple chances to win free sneakers and gear from weekly and monthly challenges. So all you need to do is click on the link down below in the description or the first link pinned in the comment section. That will get you set up and into the community. I'm excited to see you guys on the inside. If you made it to the end of this video, drop a comment down below and let me know which one sneaker you would take if you could only get one shoe from this month, not including the reverse Travis Mochas. Something besides that shoe. If you could only pick one shoe, what would it be?